you're now wondering why it may still be here. It is so slippery. Yeah, so my room's changed quite a bit. If you've been watching these vlogs for a long time, you know that this room has, uh, yeah, it's not the same, it's very empty. The last video I spoke about moving houses. To give you a bit of background, if you're new here, my name's Seb. This, right now, is my parents' house, which, uh, they, basically, my parents and I live in Geneva. I hardly ever film in Geneva, but let's say if I spend two weeks a month in Monaco, I'll film a bunch of videos in Monaco, and that's the whole situation. People ask me about my living situation between Geneva, why I have Swiss plates, etc. I am based in Geneva, it's where I spend most of my time. Just when I'm in Monaco, I do a bunch of filming. So that's how it works. So when there are gaps in no filming, that's probably because I'm in Geneva. Anywho, this is where I used to spend all my time. Parents' old house before they moved to Geneva. Very kindly let me stay in it for two or three years by myself, which was amazing. We've had a bunch of great memories here. However, now, when I spend my time in the south of France, I am moving, and I am moving in with a flatmate. All of that is going to come very soon. We are just moving into the place still, and I want to show it to you when it's finished. Most of the furniture came with the place, so when you see it... Anyways, I'm not going to complicate it all for you. I got my last bag of clothes here. I've been packing up a bunch of stuff. This is the last thing to go. This is actually... This is Archie Hamilton's... Look, there you go. Archie Hamilton racing. This is That's his helmet. He's left it here, but I figured I might as well take it with me so that when he comes there, I can give it back to him. Today's video, however, is about... A Lotus. Again, if you're new, I own a Lotus, an Exige Sport 380. It's raining today, so the shots aren't going to be amazing, but sometimes it can add drama. Anyway, here's the car. Can you see this dirt? Once a year, there's this super sandy rain which comes over from northern Africa to here, sort of southern part of Europe. It happens once a year and it gets all the cars filthy. Anywho, the Lotus. Here it is. So yeah, I have a Lotus Exige Sport 380. I've had it for maybe six months now. Love this car. Effectively, the Exige model range is kind of halfway in the Lotus model range. So they have the Elise, which is the entry level super lightweight car. They then have the Evora, which is the more comfortable, bigger, uh, sold in higher numbers, I believe, car. And then there's also the 311, which is a super hardcore track only, but you can get a street legal version of it uh, car. And so this obviously is an Exige. This fits in the Exige range. And in, in the Exige range, it is pretty much at the top. So you can get the Exige Sport 350, the 350 road stuff then you get the 380 which this is and they've actually now released a 380 cup which is a limited edition only 60 of those exist which i didn't know about when i bought this car or else i would maybe have waited a bit but now there's no point in switching it i made a video a little while back uh, if you've been around you may recall that i was selling this car i was i put it up for sale but you're now wondering why it may still be here. Before I tell you about all of that, why don't we just skip into what this car's like, actually. Because I haven't, I, I haven't really shown you guys around it in a while, so I figured I might as well show you. It's got this copper fiber... Can, can you guys see the sand? How ridiculous is that? This car's going to be filthy. Anyways, copper fire red paint, which was Lotus exclusive. Oh, got slightly interrupted there. Anyways, I was saying, copper fire red, Lotus exclusive. So Lotus exclusive is, I keep comparing it to McLaren's MSO. It's effectively like Ferrari's special edition segment. You know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. Effectively, they do whatever you ask them to do, but uh, they cost... Uh, they're quite expensive, so you don't really want to go too crazy with them. This color was through Lotus exclusive. So was this color, which is Mars Gold. Um, which we added, so actually all of these things we didn't add individually, it's all part of an accent pack. So all of the gold you see here is part of a pack which you can just get from Lotus, including the wing struts as well. It's then got all of the carbon, so so it's got a full carbon pack, so this is an optional extra in carbon fibre. It's called the front access panel, the front splitter down here, the side skirt, engine cover, the huge rear wing, the diffuser, all of that's in carbon. Now there, there's one thing which does really annoy 
annoy me, which is this. I wish this was in carbon and I asked Lotus exclusive if we could do it. They didn't allow that to happen. The wing mirrors also, if this could be in carbon, that would have been really nice. Also didn't allow that to happen. The side vents you can actually get on the cup version. Um, so I guess they probably didn't let me have it so that they could put it on the cup version. But now it's like crazy expensive to get the, the pods by themselves, the air vents on the side. So I don't really see the point in doing it now. You can't really tell, but it's one of those things that just kind of bugs me. A few changes I've done after that. Uh, oh, also these rims, these were Lotus exclusive, these gold finished rims with the black calipers. Um, I did the tinted windows and I also did this, these lights slightly tinted and this one completely tinted as well as the rear braking light there. I tinted these lights very slightly, I don't know if you can tell. But yeah, so effectively you can't really tell. It doesn't look too aftermarket at all. It still looks fairly standard and factory, but I just think it looks quite nice. Inside, if you already know this car well, I'm sorry to bring you over all of it again. I just thought I would refresh your minds because I actually haven't driven this car in like a month, a month and a half. No, less than that, three weeks. Now that I'm moving to the other house, I have to move it from this house to the other house. So that's why we're hopping back in and we're gonna talk about it and why it's still here. Okay, it's got a few cool options. So my favorite is the matching Mars gold stitching. So it's through Lotus exclusive. Uh, we then went for leather and Alcantara. So it's got Alcantara on the inside of the door sills, the inside of the seats, where it's all complemented by leather around the back. It's got the carbon seats, carbon um, sills here, which actually look very scratched up, but that's just, I've put PPF on them which has kind of come off a bit. Um, so the sills underneath are completely brand new, but it's the PPF which is slightly scratched. Uh, the stitching kind of continues, and then I went for the open-gated shifter, because why wouldn't you? It's just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, but then there aren't too many other options in here. I mean, I got like the radio, the aircon, all of those are options. Uh, the inside accent pack as well, so you get this in gold and the surround of the aircon over there in gold. Got the carpets, those are an option. Extra sound insulation, upgraded audio. Basically, what I didn't get, there are two options I didn't get. I didn't get the titanium exhaust because apparently that doesn't really change the sound at all, but it does save 22 kilos. So it makes a lot of sense if you're taking your car on track all the time, but because I got like the carpets, the radio, all of that, didn't seem to make sense to spend. I think it's like 5,000 pounds on an exhaust just to save a bit of weight. And then you can also get this adjustable suspension, which is another, I think, 5,000 um, pounds. Again, only really for serious, serious track use. I need to drive this down to the, to the other house. So let's hop in and I'll tell you about this car, whether it's staying, whether it's leaving, my mindset. and that's kind of what I love doing the most so I think that's what's going to be on this channel the most in the near future can you see I don't know if you can see the amount of dirt this car I honestly don't think it's ever been this dirty after just an hour of rain completely coated in sand oh, oh, it sounds good though I've been getting so many questions from people on Instagram Twitter all of these different places about what's been going on with this car because it keeps popping up in my Insta stories with different things but I said I was selling it. Yes, I was. I was selling this car. I put it up for sale. I got a few offers. But this car, like I kind of showed you around earlier, has a lot of very specific one-off options. And uh, I basically haven't got an offer yet that I was completely sort of happy with. And I'm in no rush to sell this car. I don't have a huge desire to buy anything else right now. There's nothing within the price bracket um, of this car without having to put, you know, sort of double the money in. Because yes, I would love a 458 or something, but there's so much money. So within the bracket of this, there's nothing that really excites me that much, which is why I think that uh, I haven't been in a rush to sell it. Buy the 
first car for an offer where I'm like, you know what, yeah, I will separate with this car which I absolutely love for that amount and try and move on to something new, then I'm keen. Until then, I hadn't driven this car for a while until I drove it last time, about three weeks ago, and I, to be honest, really fell in love with it again. I was like, why did I consider selling it? You hear the traction control systems doing their thing? Let's put everything back on before we, why well, hurt myself. Anywho, so yeah, in the price bracket, what, what would be options? Things I've been looking at are 911s, so a 991, Carrera S, Carrera 4S, or even maybe stretching to Carrera GTS, which I love. I do really, really like them, but GTSs are A, expensive, they do hold their money well, but they are fairly expensive, and they don't, like, really, really excite me. Something that I did fall in love with in Dubai was the AMG GTS. That would be the strongest contender for a car that I would consider right now. You can then get Ferrari 360s, Ferrari 430s, all of that sort of stuff. But they just seem a bit un I'm not sure. I mean, Sam's had his. It's been reliable. I don't. I don't really know. I haven't looked into it enough to really know. And it does for some reason doesn't excite me all that much. I hope that kind of answers the question um, of what's going on with the Lotus. That was the only purpose for this video. I've been running around, moving houses which I'm going to be showing you very soon. I'll do a house tour, I'll do all of that jazz as soon as I've moved in properly to the new place. If you're wondering what's going on with the Lotus, I do still have it. I am still looking at selling it. So if you have a good offer you want to make, uh, this car's got 10,000 kilometers, please send me an email at this email address right here and I'll be able to chat with you. And if it goes, it goes, but I'm in no real rush at all for it to go. So we'll see what happens. Right now, I'm back in love with it. I'm gonna start driving it much more often again rather than just letting it gather dust. I'm gonna drive it every other day. Now I've got the key as well, I've got it daily. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope uh, you found it interesting. And I will be seeing you again very soon. Cheers. Bye-bye. You're getting way too big for your boots. You're never too big for the boot. I got the big size holes in my feet. Your face ain't big for my boots. Strange. Kick up the you. Man, know that I kick up the you. Then why they try to suck the truth.